subscribe to our channel and click on the bell button to receive important financial updates faster than anybody else. Welcome to another video on your channel Profit Inquities. In this video, we'll be talking about three companies which are likely to double their net profit in Q3 and which could create huge wealth from here on. Now friends, as you all know, we have recently created a free telegram group for our YouTube channel subscribers. Please go to the description of the video and click on the link provided in order to join the group. There we are able to post content which we are otherwise not able to post on YouTube due to a lack of time. There we are able to post content which we are not always able to on YouTube due to a paucity of time. Please watch this video to know more about these stocks. Now the first company on the list is Blue Star Limited which is available at Rs 822.60 and the face value for it is 2. The symbol for it is B-L-U-E-S-T-A-R-C-O. Now Blue Star Limited engages in the manufacture, trade and installation of air conditioning systems. The company's PAT is expected to surge 626% in Q3 to Rs 45 crores against a loss of Rs 9 crores in the year ago quarter. Sales are also likely to rise by more than 12% year on year to Rs 1237 crores. It is expected that the rupee appreciation of 1.2% year on year against the dollar can potentially have a positive impact on earnings of Blue Star due to its reliance on imports of compressors and indoor units from China. Now looking at the one year chart, this company has been on a beautiful uptrend and a lot of wealth has been created here. The market cap of the company is 7,922.78 crores which means that this company is a mid cap one. The EPS of 20.11 translates into a price to earnings ratio of 40.91 which is much more expensive when compared with the industry price to earnings ratio of 20.79. The price to book ratio of 9.06 is also very high. The company has a debt to equity of 0.4563 whereas the return on equity for this company is 0.2327. The dividend yield here stands at 1.22% whereas the promoter holding is also below average at 38.76%. None of the promoter's holding is blessed. Now the second company on the list is Loris Labs Limited which is available at Rs 396.35 and the face value for it is 10. The symbol for it is L-A-U-R-U-S-L-A-B-S. Now Loris Labs Limited engages in the manufacture of pharmaceutical products. It operates through the domestic and exports geographical segments. The company was founded on September 19, 2005 and is headquartered in Hyderabad, India. Now net profit for Loris Labs could well grow 157% to Rs 45 crores as against Rs 18 crores in the year ago quarter. Sales on the other hand is estimated to rise 29% year on year to Rs 685 crores. It is expected that the company is going to deliver strong year on year growth led by superior execution and the formulation segment. Now looking at the one year chart, this company has not really created any major wealth for its shareholders and has largely been choppy. The EPS of 12.41 translates into a price to earnings ratio of 31.94 which is largely in line with the industry price to earnings ratio of 30.18. The price to book ratio of 2.72 is also not widely expensive. The company has a debt to equity of 0.6087 whereas the return on equity for this company is also nothing special at 0.0853. The dividend yield stands at 0.38% whereas the promoter holding is also below average at 32.73%. A worrisome 31.69% of the promoter's holding is also placed. Now the final stock on the list is Bidla Corporation Limited which is available at Rs 649.60 and the face value for it is 10. The symbol for it is B-I-R-L-A-C-O-R-P-N. Now Bidla Corp Limited engages in the manufacture of cement. It operates through the following segments which are cement, Jute and others. The company was founded by Madhav Prasadji Birla and Priyam Vada Birla on August 25, 1919 and is headquartered in Kolkata, India. Motila Loswal estimates the net profit to the company to rally to 30% on a year-on-year -year basis to Rs 90 crores as against Rs 27 crores in Q3 of FY19. Meanwhile, sales could also go up almost 7% year-on-year to Rs 1664 crores for the quarter ended December. The brokerage further noted that consolidated cement volumes are likely to rise 4% year-on-year to 3.34 metric tons, adding that better prices in North and Central are to offset the weaker prices in the East. The brokerage firm expects splendid EBITDA per ton at Rs 946 and suggests investors should watch out for an update on capacity expansion and the associated timelines. Now looking at the one-year chart, this company had a stupendous rise towards the middle of the year 
but since then has been a laggard. The market cap of the company is 5,002.27 crores, which means that this company is a small cap one. The EPS of 49.93 translates into a price to earnings ratio of 13.01, which is much more cheaper when compared with the industry price to earnings ratio of 39.03. The price to book ratio of 1.11 is also not expensive. The company has a debt to equity of 0.7852 whereas the return on equity for this company is 0.0857. The company's dividend yield is 1.15% whereas the promoter holding for this company is a very strong number at 62.90%. None of the promoter's holding is blessed. Now friends, please don't consider this to be a recommendation on our part. Please go ahead and do your own research. This and all other content that you see on our channel is intended only to be a piece of news. Thanks for watching and if you have not already subscribed to our channel, please consider doing so.